Howdy, partner. What can I do for you? Care for some seltzer? No, thanks. I've got a question about someone. Oh, really? What's the fella's name? His name is Sonic. Um? Unfortunately, Sonic has recently been murdered. You wouldn't happen to know much about it, would you? I, um... Uh, I mean, howdy. What's with the arcade cabinet? Oh, that? Uh, it's a really fun game. Just needs a few patches and stuff. <clears throat> Did you slam Sonic into the machine? Well, I... Uh... Did you hurt Sonic? One tarnation! Spill the beans, Knuckles! I didn't do it! Hmm. We'll just have to see about that. Saloon car. Oh, this is where I'm at. Let's go. Whoa, look at this place. Who should we call for? Me, me. Uh, I don't know. You pick Sonic. Uh, I don't know. Just pick Sonic. Uh, fine. Just call for Amy. Amy? Amy, are you here? I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah. Just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually her? <laughs> 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 but he is. Why are we laughing? He... he's laughing? Darn right I'm laughing! Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Are you sure about that? I think so. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise! Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. I don't know, guys. He's making a lot of sense. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Um, there's two options. It's my job to keep an eye on you, or can I tag along? It's kind of his job. Do you want Jerome tagging along? No. Jerome's all right. He can tag along. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Actually, I mind, but they're kind of forcing me to. Oh, of course. Sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got <laughs> yeah, because that's all Jerome is known for is his famous snacks. Jerome's pretty much just a snack guy. Ah, <sighs> fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Look how sad I look. Don't I look sad? Uh, I thought it was a flicky that ditched you. Are we gonna get picky, mm. or do you want me to continue? Mm. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints, what are ye all doing in my saloon? Ah, uh, nice cowboy voice, Knuckles. Thank you, I, I'm really doing my best. He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <clears throat> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? No doubt you will. Uh, Knuckles, you're sus. Uh, Explain. I don't know. You're going to have to find out. Dude, did you break the, the gaming machine behind you? Yeah, Knuckles. Ugh. Violence, is that where you hurt me? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Yeah, don't mess with me. Jerome, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Okay, uh, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, we get some snacky snacks. Those look like cashews. I want snacks. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts, the classic saloon snack. <laughs> kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? What? <laughs> Who did that? Or maybe they're just unsalted? What, guys? I like salt, okay? You mean like cows? What? I just like licking Ew, salt. Ew, disgusting. You licked all those... <laughs> what? Licking salt is tasty, okay? Like, you know, salt all savory and stuff. And... What, do you need like a little salt popsicle? A saltsicle? Already had one. You varmints just keep up with your investigating. Because I'm innocent partner. Okay. A wanted poster of Omo Chow. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. what do they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. What about the robot arm? Let's see what's up with that. The robotic arms here are really helpful. <laughs> what's the arm doing in my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? 
How well can it microwave? Glasses. Ooh, what's that red stain on the glass? It's a lipstick from Rouge and Girl. Uh, no varmints. It's uh, uh, apple juice. Jerome. Apple juice is orange, dude. Jerome. This is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. No, dummy. Jerome. This one has lipstick on the rim. I knew it, Knuckles. You got a girlfriend! No! Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to the inventory. There's gotta be a few more clues here. There's a window. Breathtaking views. Whoa! This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. Uh... I'll never understand this friend group. What's in the trash can? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. But yeah. that's stupid because the trash is right there. And it's saying it's empty. Get There's that. actual stuff in the trash bin. Yeah, that you doesn't make sense. It. Weird. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> and that's supposed to be funny? Um... I think Tails is ignoring me. Huh? That's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further even though we can just slip right under the gate. Very true. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Uh, n none of your interest, guys. Uh, I don't know what you're wasting your time Let's check for. the gaming machine. Yeah. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? Mm. Uh. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Uh. Your next Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles. It's time to find out. Did you kill me? Yeah. Suspicious. Uh, never! I would never do that to Sonic! I don't know, you two have some past beef. I thought I told you to leave me alone! Alright guys, how do we break the ice in this conversation? I know! I like your hat! Huh. Knuckles, are you blushing? Cause it was a nice compliment. I said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! Let's interrogate him, guys. We're gonna get him! What? We're gonna get him! Dude, I was nervous cause my hat! It, it, I get self-aware about it. I think it's cool, but I don't think others think it's cool. I love your hat! Oh, thanks. Are you blushing? No. Okay. He's totally blushing. Yeah, he's totally blushing. Knuckles, Jerome and I need to determine what were you doing during the hour the murder took place? I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Suspicious. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Jerome, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? All right, guys. It's pretty obvious. The game. Or should it be the glasses? Maybe Knuckles' girlfriend had some seltzer water with him. I am privy to grape sparkling water, but no, you're wrong. I Smash think the arcade, arcade is pretty obvious. Let's do it. Let's go. The arcade machine? Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Oh, we All gotta right, think. it's time to think, guys. I'm gonna time do my part. No, Sonic, go! Yeah, I'm gonna do it. He's already messing it up, guys. Wait, no, I'm doing my best, okay? Mm. Uh, well, um, you see, we... You have no argument here. You are weak, Jerome. Ouch. Jerome, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? All right, I made it. Finally. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles? You clearly touched the arcade machine because... Knuckles, are you a fan of Monkey Ball? I mean, it's alright. Uh. Option two, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Uh... Hmm. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the machine will give us our answer. Huh? How will you- I'm on it! Jerome, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball! Huh? Bring it on! Yo, Tails is gonna fix Monkey Ball. Are we gonna get to play it? That'd be pretty sweet, not gonna lie. There! I got all the rings! The arcade machine is fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! Quick! Look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! No! Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list! Vector? It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car! <laughs> The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Uh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. 
Uh, He's punching the air in frustration? <laughs> You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name? Proof to me he was here now! What? I, I don't know how common Vector is unless you count that guy from Despicable Me. Vector. Oh, yeah. You guys have nothing on me. I am completely innocent. Guilty! Now, Jerome, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? But what's um, with the map? Maybe they're nearby? Yeah! Really close by! Let's use it! Huh, I knew it! You were both talking out of your behinds! Let's try again, Jerome! What evidence helps prove Vector was here? I have no idea how Cups proves it, but let's give it a shot. No! Why do you look so scared? Uh. I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of its win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups, but what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Hmm. Rouge was in here too. Oh! Your girlfriend! No! Oh, Knuckles has a crush on Rouge! <laughs> oh! It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. I think it was important. No, it wasn't! She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. That sounds like her. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Leave me alone? Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Um. Huh? Mm. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. It doesn't make sense. Jerome, can you take a look one more time? Hmm. Wonder what this is going to be. An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Vector, Nuck, Toast, Apple, Bread, Altim, Bagel, candy. Wait a minute, Altim. Ultimate? Ultimate? Shadow? Uh, no. Hmm, Shadow. Hmm. All the other names has a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Altim? You may not know, Jerome, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Huh? No. Uh, th there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game. But then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too! He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. Hmm. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key? Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. Shadow is such- What? No! Even though Sonic and I have our differences, I would never cause him bodily harm. Unless he was acting stupid. Hey, I don't act stupid. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent, you're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Knuckles. You mean Vector? Yeah, Vector, Knuckles. Wow, well, nice mistake. Shush! Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Jerome. Let's head to the library. Yeehaw, partners. Yeehaw. Too bad I'm dead on it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Jerome. C coming. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You bet. You got it, partner. Onwards. The library car. Shh. Be quiet. This is a library car. Oh, so are we going to have to like... Are we going to have to whisper like stuff? ASMR? Are we going to have to whisper like this? Because I don't think I could do it. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite.
favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Um, what should we ask? Uh, has she found any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick! Uh, you better hurry, because <laughs> Sonic wouldn't do it too good. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course. It's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! But where are you going? Amy may be hasty but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I'd say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. Am I sus? That sounds like exactly what a murderer would say. And I'm, uh, here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starve! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now? I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ha, huh, poetry. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 dee 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 dee. Uh, that was bad. Was that it? I have more if you like. Well, that was trash. That was bad. Even I write better poetry than that. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I, uh, I'm satisfied for now. <laughs> Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Jerome and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup! Where is Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Shadow? Hmm. Shadow is a locksmith, so I guess he just wants to lock doors? Yeah, it's my job. <laughs> are you sweating? No. Shadow, are you suspicious? <clears throat> No. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him, then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, I realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up! We were worried about the book shelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Absolutely. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Oh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh, Jerome, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it! Library map is in our inventory! Sweet, we found a clue! Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites! Nah, leave it. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Guys, the trash bin looks empty! Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say this, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really, I really thought, there'd, really be thought there'd be something, something there. there. Jerome, are you sad that there was nothing in the trash bin? N no, no, I'm alright. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash can we find. You really think so? Um, yeah. We just 
Gotta stay optimistic! Dude, why can't there be a clue in the trash can? Yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Jerome, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What does that even mean? What? Was that supposed to be a compliment? All right, what's with the books on the floor? Knuckles has a point. They're supposed to be neatly shelved. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up, but Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior? I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Is that true? Well, I do have compassion when I want to show it. What is this? I don't know. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. How? Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Oh, that makes sense. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. That's strange. Suspicious. Don't know who Eggman's publisher is. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Dude, stop like reminiscing and get moving. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train. Sauce! I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I was about to ask if that was blood or not. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. What's with this bookshelf? Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Uh, well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Huh, that's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. Huh, it's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express Manual is added to our inventory. Sweet. This is getting interesting. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library, he locked this door on the way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. You're suspicious, Shadow. What? No. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. All right, it's time to interrogate this man. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Jerome and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, uh, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Oh, of course he was! Huh? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen! It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch of what that book might be. Hmm. Jerome, can you help me out? <sighs> All right, Jerome. What book do we think Espio may have been reading? This is easy. Probably the Obviously manual. Obviously the manual. It's the only thing. Yeah, book. I agree. I agree. Hmm. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? There are books scattered around the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Uh. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey, now! I won't have you insulting my pal like this! Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but... I can handle myself. Yeah, apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. I mean, they weren't butcher and poet before that. So yeah, they like... were always friends. Yeah. Get with it, Jerome. Kind of like an anime character. What? No. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. I like turtles. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Jerome, if you don't mind, just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. 
quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, uh 362. That's the furthest yeah. in the book. That's gotta be the answer. Good choice. Yeah. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Isn't it the hands? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterward. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself, though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Jerome, hit him with another one. Yeah, Jerome, that wasn't a good one. Oh, okay, uh, which page do I choose? Uh, 89. Yeah, 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Jerome. Let's see if Espio could go three for three. I'm not sure what he's up to, but he knows his stuff. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Uh, 402. What was implemented? to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations. An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. I hate to say it, but no. Hmm. Ha, ah, just goofing. You passed. Are you stupid, Jerome? Yeah, Jerome. You could have made him fess up to something. Yeah, Jerome. Stop goofing. Hmm. <sighs> Failure. I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. You joked and jaked, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Did he just rhyme a curse at me? You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my body like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious. Even if true. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Uh... Well, you definitely read through the manual. So I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Ooh. Jerome? Huh? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Jerome. Think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? A shadow went through here. Wait a minute, Shadow! Uh, this one! Shadows. Lock. Please pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Jerome. Let's get our argument together. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. That was cringe. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Um. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. There's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, uh, I, I mean, it was a simple slip up. <laughs> I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. Yeah, sure. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock up all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked the door and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Drew. One I would love for Espio to solve. You've got to believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah! I think I remember doing that. You think, or do you know? Ah! Uh, I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Uh, you should, uh, help me, I don't me, know. What, what should we pick? Help me! No. I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... Jerome, my favorite and beloved employee, please, 
Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow an old feeble soul to get sued. What? I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! Uh, what did you just call me? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associates. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other? Uh, let's try the overhead brochure thing. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow not to see him? Uh... Interesting. That's where I was sitting to read my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe in me now. Mm. I don't know about That's that. That's a little weird. Great, now the blame's on me. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Um... Shadow's Did nice. you happen to be the murderer, Shadow? I've already told you I'm innocent. Are you? Are you? Maybe. Yes. What'd you uh, say, maybe? You're what making me maybe? double guess. Just move on. Oh? It seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give him heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose. While doors keep getting locked, tick, tick, tock goes the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Javoom. Let's see what's next. Coming. To the next train car. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all these great books a little longer? No. The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues, but my books! Next episode, Rouge, Blaze, and Tails plan a heist to steal the rare Fabergé Chow Egg. What kind of crazy antics will ensue, and who killed me? Please, I want to know! Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the next episode.